yeah, I feel proud being a dad. You know, the enjoyment that the kids give you, you know, when they see the smiles, when you're doing things with them, you know, the surprise on their face when they do things for the first time and when you teach them to ride a bike, you know, the, the, the first time that they they ride it without the stabilizers, okay, they fall off a few times, but, you know, they, they eventually find the way and the excitement on their faces and, and the pride that I have knowing that I've, I've helped them to find their way so that they can actually, you know, learn for themselves as well. Kids, kids are my life. We live for our kids. They're just amazing. That means everything, it means <laughs> that you're not the only one that you have to look after now. Uh, obviously, it's because you've got to raise them. It's basically to be like you. The day after uh, Oliver passed away, I actually messaged one of my work colleagues. And we'd obviously be talking about children and how they can be a nightmare and everything. And the message I sent to him was something on the lines of, no matter how much your children annoy you, how much they bicker or don't do as they told, cherish every moment because one day they could go. And then I messaged him saying about on the past week, he phoned me straight away. And he couldn't believe what happened. Being a father to me uh, means everything. It's both a privilege and an honor. The love that you can give a child and the love you get back unconditionally is without question the most wonderful experience in the world. I think it's a difficult question to answer. What does it mean to me to be a father? Something I often talk to other dads or other parents about, which people sometimes aren't very honest about. And I say when my daughter Alex was born, it wasn't love at first sight for me. I had this feeling of duty to care for her. And I just had this overwhelming sense of duty that like it was my job to care for her and to look after her, but it felt different than love. And then as time went on and I got to know Alex more and I was her primary carer when my wife went back to work, kind of that duty, I guess, blossomed into love. And being a father meant that I get to share all my passions with my daughter and we would then discover what her passions were. And it all feels a bit messed up now that she's dead. And I have my son Brody, who was born six weeks after Alex died. But to me, being a dad, I guess meant just having a bunch of little people that I loved and that loved me. And we just did things together. We would do things together that we enjoyed. Maybe it would be a TV show, maybe playing in the paddling pool or crawling around on the beach together laughing. Um, that was being a dad to me. Becoming a father definitely changed me. You go from being concerned about your, your yourself to then having this little bundle of joy that is the, the focus of your attention and it takes over your life. So um, yeah, definitely changed me as a person and for the better, I believe. It's matured me and made me realize how important family life is. Becoming a father, it, it does change you uh, because, like you say, you've got someone else to care for now. It's not just you and your partner and that. So um, you realise that that you've got to provide for them and care for them in the way you would be caring for yourself at the same time. Being a dad has definitely changed me. Alex was born deaf and we found out she was deaf when she was two weeks old. And that was really, um, that was a really difficult thing to deal with. Uh, I guess we grieved the loss of her hearing. It felt like in that moment, um, all these things that I wanted to do with her were being taken away. We knew immediately that we would learn BSL, British Sign Language, and it was, you know, our goal with Alex to not let her be behind other people, which is what people thought she would, but to actually excel. And Alex died when she was 16 months old, and she knew how to sign 37 different signs. Um, which is amazing and she can understand a lot more and it just changed I guess my levels of dedication and love um, and now it's all mixed in with the grief because she's gone the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen is Alex doing sign language it changed me in what I thought was a really beautiful way um, because of the life we all had together and now she's gone 
And so being a dad now, more than anything, just feels painful and difficult and something that I have to live with till I die. The advice I give to new fathers would be enjoy every moment. They grow up too quick. Having the kids, nurturing them, you know, you, you will gain so much from it, but you just just spend time with them. Enjoy it. it. It doesn't last long enough. Cherish every moment you have with your child and do whatever you can for them and enjoy every moment. I would say take every day as it comes. Not to take everything so seriously, just enjoy it. You have to have them moments of seriousness, but you also have moments of fun times and that. And just cherish, cherish each day, I would say. I think the one word that, that spring to mind would be enjoy it. Because it's an absolute wonderful experience. So enjoy every, every second you have with it.